market. Yeah, it needs alloy. Of course it does. Oh, it needs gold coins. Damn it. I need to go and do something for treasure. Alright, we've got to do a treasure so we can get 100 gold coins. I have a treasure map for I3, which is really bloody close. So we need to build a taming pen. I need to get some bears. And we're going to go do treasure hunt. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, get some arrows sorted and it's probably time to find a bear. The bear in there, chair as well. People with games and stories to tell. There's a bear in there, in the chair as well. There are people with games. Sorry about that. Couldn't help reliving my childhood there. Why did that hit? Come on. Here we go. What's gaining? Gaining fast. Well, not quite what I was expecting. He's done now. Respawn at bed. Did it fall in? That's the question. Looks like it did. Apparently I need to jump in with it. Looks like it's not fighting, so that's fine. Grab. Saps first up. Honey, vegetable, fruits, berries. Uh, we've got v veggies. Oh gosh, that's going to take bloody forever. Damn. Because uh, I don't have the best taming foods. It's just going to take time, isn't it? There we go. Let's have a quick look at what it got. 300. Okay. sure I'm not gonna oh hello oh I want seeds me seeds blackberries nice this is gonna be fun all right level four treasure can we do it
Too easy. Nice. crossbow upgraded one of those masterwork small shipyard so I can make a better one but I need four of each type well that's gonna be a bit of a pain to do medium deck medium deck well, I got no use for the medium decks for a little while still I got the gold that gold will allow me to build the market but now I've got to get home all right well we're back at base and it's undergone quite a significant amount of change and a lot actually happened between doing the treasure and coming back. Now I did have some footage of building all of this, but really it's just building. Um, I demolished my little house. I built this crafting station. So I'm gonna build a roof over the top of this, but it will be effectively open air uh, with a roof. And this will become my crafting station because it's very easy to walk up to the warehouse, grab what I need, and then just crawl over to the various stations to make stuff. And that's all gone very, very well. But um, while I was playing some games with some friends, I had this running in the background and I was doing some sailing uh, back to the uh, Freeport to get buy some seeds. However, after three hours of sailing, I ran into a Ships of the Damned and they sunk me, uh, my only ship and my only bear, so it's all gone. And so now I'm back at base and uh, I don't have a taming pen, but I'm going to have to get myself another bear. I do have some berries now though, so that's going to help. But I don't have any honey, and I don't think anyone's been trading with me for any honey yet either. Uh, but my thing is filling up really, really nicely. Um, the main problem I've got with the market... Well, we come down here and have a look. So I built the market with the, the gold that I got. And I'm actually starting to get quite a decent amount of gold out of this. Albeit I hear it's a bit slower. Uh, Clan Fett's actually doing a number of trades with me at the moment. So these are my trades on the right hand side. Now I've set it up so that my granite and my coquina can trade for any stone resource. So by check, check by choosing the generic resource, that's the one um, that allows you to get anything. But it means that all those other people who have the generic resource, that's what you get. It's actually an absolute pain. Um, yeah. Well, I haven't really got that much in the way of uh, generic resource on the stone yet, I don't think. Um, but what I am getting is I've gotten a heap of generic thatch and a little bit of generic wood. But I've got an emerald trade going for salt at the moment. So I've got a decent amount of salt, which I didn't have before. And now that I have this salt, I'm tempted to actually destroy my H6 base, which was only keeping for salt in the first place. And uh, yeah, just filling up with a decent amount of other things. Someone's actually been trading some diamonds with me for the emeralds as well. A bit of everything, and yeah, I've now got 1500 gold, and that's from probably running maybe two days worth. But I didn't really have a huge uh, amount of stuff on sale for a whole day, whereas I've actually had um, the current sales or the current things that I'm trading for, I've had this in there now for uh, a whole day, um, and it's been trading quite comfortably. So, yeah, I've got three ships over here with uh, this guy, probably because. Yeah, so he's doing stone. So I'll be doing stone trades with him. Uh, iron for gems, really? He's got any gem resource. Well, I'm probably gonna be, he's probably actually taking some of my gems and I'm getting iron for that. It'd be nice if he actually traded some of his silver for it. Silver for hemp. Ooh, maybe I got some hemp that I could give away. Yeah, I have got that. So at the moment I could be getting some hemp from him as well, sorry, some silver from him. That's actually, oh my god, look at that. That would be really nice if I'm getting that. A second metal resource. What have we got? Oh, I've got iridium ingots coming in. Who the hell's bloody giving me iridium ingots? And I've got cannonballs, I don't even know how they're coming in. Because I didn't trade anything for gunpowder. So the trade just looks at what you've got. And if you've accepted the trade rate, you just start getting it. I, mean, I don't have ironwood on my island, so I've got ironwood coming in from elsewhere. But 
Yeah, there is. Look at that. 3,600 silver. Bunch of silver ingots. So I've got all kinds of resources coming in, and I didn't even know that it was going to happen. And so because I've actually put in there that I can trade anything, it seems to be doing that. I didn't think it would just allow for that. But I guess because on some of these other ones, because I've allowed the trade with these people, they must have it in here somewhere. So there's the gem resource for the Kalmanayak. So he's the, probably one of the ones that I'm getting that for my emeralds, which is really quite nice. I'll probably need to go up to my emerald station and top it up with some more. But one of these guys, one of these companies, must have ingots. Like maybe they put ingots up for a short bit of time. There's some opals, nice, for my gems. So I'll be getting opal from them. Metal, metal, metal. None of these are ingots, which is a bit strange. And I cancelled this one. I don't know how I managed to cancel that, but I can't uncancel it. So I'm just not sure what's going on with that. Which I could uncancel it. But this is all I'm getting the stuff from, right? So I'm getting ingots from these people. But somehow they've given me gunpowder. I don't see how I got gunpowder because I haven't made any gunpowder. I got gunpowder somehow. And there's weed, right? Because so I didn't have cannonballs and I didn't have gunpowder. But I've got 50 cannonballs and I've got gunpowder. So they must have set up some trades where... They must have traded some gunpowder or some cannons for a different resource. And it sent it across and now I have it. So the warehouse and the market system is kind of weird. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't really care as long as I have a, a ridiculous variety of goods. Which I'm getting... But the other part to it is, I'm not using any blueprints yet, so I don't need the variety, so I just need lots of resources, which it's uh, definitely got. And I'll take any trade at this stage, and I probably should set up some more from the different resources that I've got. But, yeah, probably another three or four days, I will have 5,000 gold, and I will be able to uh, build some better ships. Alright, well that will do it. Uh, I've got a lot of catching up to do. I've got to try and uh, rebuild what I've lost after I lost my ship and my bear. Uh, we'll get all that happening in the background and then catch back up to where things are. But at least with this particular one, we can actually see what it's like to get those early treasures. We can see how the warehouse and the market are actually working uh, and giving me the money. You know, I've got um, 13, 1400 gold in two days worth of trading, which is actually quite reasonable. You know, because while I'm offline, the money's just coming in. It's going to be good. I'm going to be able to jump straight in and maybe build, uh, I believe it's the schooner. That's 5,000 uh, gold. And then while I'm using that schooner to travel around faster, doing more treasures and whatever else, and maybe put a diving attachment, I'll go do some sunken treasures and things like that. And so while I'm doing those things, more money will be rolling in, and then maybe I'll be able to afford a brig or something better. But yeah, it's going to be good. Get a few... Oh, you can actually see it from here. Uh, I've put down one of the water claims. And so I've claimed that island over there and put a water claim. It's not that deep, which is a little bit annoying. But I've got a little bit of an edge there where it's actually in the deep water. So I should be able to put a shipyard in there. I'll build maybe a really high bridge going over to that island. So that ships can actually sail underneath it and I don't block people off. I don't want to be uh, griefing anyone. But yeah, so I'll then basically have a... A way to get out to my shipyard, launch ships and whatever else, and I'll have to actually build, a, I don't know, um, some kind of a marina maybe for uh, all my ships when they finally get built. It's all coming together well. Alright, well hopefully you uh, did find this interesting. Alright, well hopefully you found it interesting and uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you're finding the game since the wipe. Uh, and all of these patches that are actually coming out. Um, there's definitely a lot of good and bad talk going on, uh, but at this stage I'm just happy to play the game to actually get up to where I actually have things. And the journey to, uh, to better gear is always um, something that I do find interesting, regardless of whether or not the, the content is buggy or not. Alright, thanks for watching in, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.